Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and we're going to take a look at the new season 2025-2026. Uh, I'm going to start by looking at the transfers that we made and then a quick peek at the matches we've played so far. I've played a three, I think three or four matches now. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at all of this. Now, starting with the squad, we have quite a few new players. Uh, starting with a new goalkeeper, Joe Cracknell. He is a more experienced goalkeeper. We had two young goalkeepers, so we moved one of them to the under 21s and we are um, giving uh, Joe Cracknell some space on the first team to develop that um, that kind of experience. Also, um, just to kind of clarify, we, we actually left... Let me see. Um, so, so Thomas Smiles, who is the one that is playing for the under 21s, is actually still still on the senior squad, but we've set his development uh, to be able to play for the under 21s. That way, they can have a little mentoring group between them, the three of them. Then we've also got a new fullback on the right side, uh, Sunbird. Young player, 22 years old, Fleetwood. And again, on the left side, we also have a new player, Eric Peterson Dodd. Another regen, or new gen, I should say. By the way, I've increased the new gen count on Patreon to two. So if you head over to Patreon, you can name um, our two new gens in the senior squad. You can also name any of the young. Um, what you, like youth squad new gen as well. So if you fancy naming any of our new gens, head over to Patreon. You'll be able to do that just fine. In the center of defense, we have three new players. So a lot of changes there. Except one of them is not new new. So Harrison Burke was with us at the very start of the game. Uh, he played a full season for us on loan. And now he's back again on another loan deal. Um, then we have bought two players, Ashley Palmer, with a bit more experience, and James, or oh, Joseph James, on loan as well, 19 year old, from Bristol City. One new player for the defensive midfield, uh, Tom Lapsley, uh, actually it took us a while to convince him to come to us. He's a new captain as well. He's come over from Turkey. Then, uh, no more changes in the midfield except when we get to the left side of attack. We have... Um, there we go. Dilson De Silva from Sri Lanka. 23 year old. He was playing for Eastleigh, so basically we poached him from another team in the same league. And in attack, we have uh, Kobe Moore again, back on loan. So remember, we bought him, was it last year? Or the year? Yeah, it was last. the beginning of last year we bought him. He played half a season for us and did very well. And then he was poached for free by another team because of a contract thing. So we bought him, but he wanted to be on a non-contract deal. Uh, and that meant that later in the season he got poached. Didn't do so well, actually, in Ireland. And now we're loaning him back. Um, yeah, so he's back with us. And then Leighton Stewart is our other new striker. Quite possibly one of our best players in the squad from Liverpool. And there we are. Now, as far as the season, we... Um, yeah, so we played four, four matches now. Two defeats, one draw, and one win against Barra. So we're not doing too well. We're down in 20th. As far as our youth development, um, our youth squad, I think, is doing quite quite well. Um, yeah, doing quite well. No defeats yet this season. Up in third of their league. What else can we look at? Facilities... Uh, we've been trying to improve training facilities, but not much luck at the moment. But we have improved that junior coaching quite a lot. Finance-wise, we're doing okay, but we're spending a little bit too much on wages. We have a lot more um, 
players on full contracts compared to last year, so we're spending a lot more on, on that. We only actually have one, two, it's easier to do it that way. Four players on an on contract deal, which is a lot more than we used to. We used to have a lot more players on non contracts. There we go. So let's move ahead to the next match. And mm, excuse me as I just stretch out. It's early morning here when I'm recording this. Um, yeah, so the, again, last season we finished, I think, 10th uh, in the end. So the goal for this season is to do better. Uh, I really would like to go to the playoffs this season. That, that's my personal aim, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not. But that would definitely be my personal aim. Now, I don't know how well we're going to be doing against Walking Him. This might be a defeat we're watching. So, don't get your hopes up. As far as cohesion, I think we're on average cohesion. We don't have a team leader, uh, although Lapsley is a highly influential player, so we have one highly influential player. We haven't managed to bring any players up from youth, usually that helps a little bit with cohesion because they are well bedded into the club. But uh, so far none of the youth players have been worthy of bringing up to the senior squad. In future, that might change, though. Now that we have excellent coaching, even though they might not be very good players, they will be closer to their full potential. We need to incre inc um, increase uh, the quality of our recruitment. We're very limited. So, so that's I'll keep pushing for that. I'll keep pushing for facilities to get improved. Now this is our third season in the Vanarama North. Sorry, Vanarama National. We only had one season in the Vanarama North. Got promoted straight away, so that was good. Our prediction, media prediction for this season, is better than last year's. It's still pretty low though, so they still. Uh, bidding us to kind of fight for rele for fight against relegation. There we go, we're back level with a goal from uh, Brecken, Kim Brecken, I think. Stewart the striker passes the ball over, I think. Yeah. Very good. So yeah, so the media still predicts we're going to fight against relegation, even though we've done better than that the previous seasons. So we finished 14th in the first season that we played in this league, and last season we played, finished 10th. We had a tough start to the season though, with a couple of losses straight off the bat. in between a crowd. Let's watch this. So the keeper goes out, punches the ball rather than capturing it, and then it just got bounced around by different people. I 
I would say the goalkeeping is still our biggest weakness. Um, looking at our statistics, yeah, it's definitely our biggest weakness still, goalkeeping. All the other positions seem to be doing better, although we have a pretty slow attack. And our midfield, I think, is not very technical, if I seem to remember correctly. Uh, our defense is pretty good. Um, the, <coughs> the the four at the back, they are pretty good. But of course, they can only do so much. There we go. Score this. There we go. Okay. That was a pretty good move. Quite happy with that. I thought he was going to fumble at the end, but seemed to have gone okay. Now we just need one more goal. Come on. One more goal for a win. And it seems like it's going to be a draw. Oh, there we go. Last highlight. That's not very good news. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the kind of goal I wanted. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so I guess we'll do what we always do. And I'll move on to the mid-season point. And I'll catch up with you guys then in another episode. Thanks so much for watching until the end. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and, um, you know, yeah, just follow this little journey. Uh, Parafit up the leagues. Uh, hopefully we'll make sure that we'll carry on going up the leagues. Yeah, so check out the links in the, in the description as well. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye.